Hey, what's up? It's Mr. J with Sign the Fly. What's up with this magnet? Why is it going through so slow? Stay tuned to find out. So what I have here is a special kind of magnet called a neodymium magnet. This is a rare earth magnet, and this is actually one of the strongest permanent magnets that you can buy. Uh, they're very strong. In fact, they're, sometimes they're very hard to pull off an object, and sometimes they attract so quickly uh, that it could pinch your skin. So you're going to want to be careful. So if I drop this magnet through the air, there's only one force that's acting upon it, gravity. And it will free fall very quickly. Watch. Now if I take this same magnet and I drop it through a non-magnetic tube, such as this copper pipe, you'll see that it falls much, much slower. Take a look. How's that happening? It actually has everything to do with a term called eddy currents. An eddy current is an electrical current that's induced by an alternating magnetic field. You see, magnets have an invisible field that surrounds them. The magnetic field is the space around the magnet where the forces are observable. So not visible, but observable. If you've ever played with magnets, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Take two magnets, put them together, shink, they cling together. Now, if you take that same magnet and you turn it around, now there's a resistance. It's not wanting to come together. They're repelling each other. That invisible yet observable feeling is the magnetic field. Now this copper tube is an example of the type of metal that does not attract magnets. The magnet does not want to stick to the side of this copper tube at all. We say that copper is non-magnetic. Now just because copper is non-magnetic does not mean that magnets do not interact with them in a very fascinating way. Take a look as I drop the magnet through the top of this copper tube. So the interaction between the copper and the magnet is all based on what's called Lin's Law. Lin's Law states that an induced electromotive force always gives rise to a current whose magnetic field opposes the original change in magnetic flux. Basically what that means is that the magnet is being weakly repelled from the copper rather than attracted to it. So it's important for you to realize that electricity and magnetism actually are very closely related. When the magnet gets near the copper, it actually sets out these little electrical swirls, and we call those swirls eddies, hence the term eddy currents. The eddy currents will repel the magnet as it falls down the copper tube. This repulsion pushes against the magnet and slows it down. As you can see, the magnet appears to be floating through the tube, rather than simply free falling. So if for whatever reason you didn't want to use a copper pipe, you can actually also use aluminum. Aluminum is a non-magnetic metal that also interacts with a magnet in a very similar way. Watch this. So you may be asking yourself, why such the difference between the lengths of the pipe? It's because copper is actually a better conductor of electricity. Something interesting to do is to drop magnets down both of the pipes at the same time. Even though there's a big difference between the lengths of the pipe, the magnets take about the same time to go through them. Check it out. Pretty cool, huh? Something else really cool I wanted to show you is this magnetic strip. This will actually make the magnet visible through the side of the aluminum tube as it's falling through. It's this interaction with magnets that many power plants use to generate the electricity that we use every single day. It's also in some components of our cars, such as the speedometers and braking systems. So what are you waiting for? Get your own eddy current kit today. You can get everything that you saw in this video and more at one easy location, teachersource.com. It's run by an amazing company called Educational Innovations. They have any kind of kit to suit your own individual and personal needs. It's been Mr. J with Sign the Fly, the place where science makes sense.